Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. The combine's still here. I'll tell you one thing. When you walk through the uh, big door of the, sh of the grain shed, and you see her looking back at you, it does make your day. But anyway, so this morning, while I was in school, I gave my dad the camera as um, we had our contractor milling man. He came in to mill the rest of the barley. So that's the, all of our barley gone now. Hopefully, it lasts till harvest. It's gonna be touch or go, I'm not gonna lie. Touch and go. Um, but hopefully, it does last us. And also, this week, we also had uh, a delivery, a lorry delivery of some fertilizer. Some of it's already gone out, that, which you'll see in further on in the video. So the guy who rolls our corn, he has a new lorry and he'd never used it before. It was the first time he was using it in, well, down with us. So I think, I think he thinks it went well anyway. But I'll play the um, footage that my dad filmed now. I think there's around 30 tonne of rolled barley there. So as I said before, it's gonna be touch, go, touch and go, but hopefully it lasts us. We have taken a wagon full from here. So it should hopefully make us to harvest, but we'll soon see anyway. So, what I, so from what I can see, his lorry seems to have done a good job. Seems to have rolled it nicely and the cows seem, seem to be liking it, so it must have done a good job. The GoPro's just died. Um, I don't know what it was. I think I was watching through the videos and I accidentally left it on or something. Burst died, so I'm on my phone, so I don't know what the quality's like. But anyway, we'll crack on. So I'm on the, I'm fertilizing on the silage ground, ready for second cut. And right now I'm up on the spring barley fields because we've got some rope bangers put on the spring barley fields because recently we've seen the crows and the seagulls they've been pecking at the barley really badly but they haven't really been touching the oaks surprisingly so we just thought we'd bring these um rope bangers up have a go well my I, my dad did come up with two this morning and he said they worked really well so we'll stick a few more up now and see how they get on so these are the rope bangers here we got them from our local um, farm store, but we got a few matches to light them up as well. We do have a gas banger, but it's up in farm two, so 
we thought it'd be a bit of a um, bit of a drag to get him get it done here because it is quite quite a big thing to move. So we thought we'd just try these, and if they hopefully they work. But anyway, we'll hop out into the field now. Those are the spring bartleys. They are looking quite well. But these crows and they are having a good go here. So hopefully this will sort them out. As you can see, hopefully, our rope's a bit too long for the post. So it's a bit of a fiddle with one hand, but well, I'm going to put you down something. But here, you can see it's been melting what my, what my dad put up this morning. It's melted it a bit because it is a plastic um, post, but it hasn't really done much damage. Anyway, I'm going to put you down now. So that's that wrapped on the post. I think it'll do. Oh, I can't. Do you think it'll do? It should do. Looks pretty secure there anyway. But now, for the fun bit, lighting it. Right, here goes. Here goes nothing. Oh, that one didn't work. It's quite windy, so... It might take a few to get through. Go, off it goes. So that's that lit. I think Dad did say it takes around 20 minutes to do the first bang, but it is smouldering, so at least we know it's actually working. Anyway, we have another one to go put up further down the field. So I'll just go quickly do that now. So we're down by the second post now. It's in the same field because this is the worst field. This is where most of them are. But you can see by right here. That's, this is where they've been pecking. They've been pecking the seeds up. Bloody things. They're actually quite deep holes as well. They're everywhere. Let me find another one. Yeah, another one here. If you just walk down as well, another one here. So give them a bit of a taste their own medicine to be fair. So we'll just stick this one up now and then hopefully in around 20 minutes time we should hear them banging away. So as you saw there, the bangers just went off and you probably saw me drop the cameras, well not drop it but it, I went to cover my ears because they gave me a bloody fright so hopefully it gives the birds as much of a fright as it did to me so caught me a bit surprised but anyway i'm gonna go carry on with this fertilizer now so i'm out in the field now spreading a bit of food we are spreading 24 north 14 on the silage land, silage land as i said and seven and a half sulfur and we're putting out at a rate of 150 kilos an acre so hopefully it's enough to get a good crop going in here ready for second cut and we're also spreading at 12 meters because we think probably at, at our limit without gps but because we are working on the mark we are so we keep it as a set mark at 12 meters so it works pretty well we think hopefully but as you saw in the combine video, we do have GPS on the combine. So we're hoping to get the GPS off the combine onto this tractor. So when it comes to spreading fertilizer and jobs that could do with um, GPS, we can use it then as the combine's only gonna be used a few, two, three months of the year. So most of the year and silage season, um, it can be on this, so that's a good thing. So that's what we're hoping to do. Also this week, um, we put the last application of fertilizer on the winter wheat. They're looking really well. And also our spray, sprayer contractor came in to put, to put the second dose of fungicide on the winter wheat. And also he put a growth regulator on it as well. 
I got a bit of drone footage of fertilising and him spraying, so I'll play that now. It's just another doorway to open up and see. What kind of lifeline will be waiting there for me? I need to bury all these fears. So most of the footage that I filmed at the start of the video and in the middle of it, I filmed that around, yeah, probably a week ago now. But as you can see, the winter wheat is out to head. Is I this is going to be a lovely crop to harvest with the new combine? I think is it's going to be some straw here as well and a lot of grain as well. And also when we put when we put those bangers up, the suit a few days after. Because we kept putting them on, we kept putting them on a few days after as well, and they soon realised that it wasn't the place for them. So that's motoring on like a rocket as well. So all the crops are looking really good. But anyway, I'm going to end the video there. I hope you all enjoyed this one. We've got a busy, busy few weeks coming up now. We've got a lot of contracting jobs coming up, and before we look around the corner, combine will be out in back, back in that back out in the fields. So. Anyway, I'll end the video there. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. And also, I'd really, you know, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, subscribe, turn the bell on. And yeah, so I'll catch you in the next one.